the Cracklers, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be checking out Samuel Eto'o. This guy is an absolute monster, but is he the new meta man? A lot of people spinning for him and asking the question, is he the best center forward in the game? Best skills, best build, and of course tested with some key gameplay as well. Don't forget to subscribe lads if you're enjoying the content. Alright, let's get straight into it, right? We did get Samuel Eto'o, I think we had to clear half the pack. I'll show you how many spins we had left before we got him. And he was our one and only legend in this. So we had to go probably semi-deep, I think. We didn't get Morientes. I wasn't really bothered about him. And Boyan, I would like to test him. Let me know if you got Boyan and, and let me know how he's going for you. Now, I told lads is definitely entering into the sphere of Mbappe, Romy, those type of goal poachers. You can see he's got some nice flicks and tricks. But again, it's going to come down to how good you are in front of goal because he has every attribute that you could possibly want in a finisher, a killer up front. And this is his base stats, right? So you're going to start off with that 88 acceleration. And of course, his finishing is going to be 83 off the rip with the booster. And it's just a ridiculous card, right? 88 players left. So we did actually have to open quite a lot, right? Now, he does take about, what, 100,000 XP, I think? So you're talking about 105,000 XP in total there to train him up. He's got 31 levels. And I'm surprised that he has so many levels, lads, because this guy, he really doesn't have many flaws, only one big flaw. But you can kind of get away with that if you just streamline your play, which is where the game is at at the moment. It's a lot of tap-ins. The AI defensively at the moment, lads, in the box, as you're seeing with the goals here, I, it, they just go from manic aggressive to, like, really passive. It's really strange. But more on that, again, that's a different gameplay issue. This is the build that we've gone for for Eto'o. Now, this build was before I gave him any skills or I gave him his ability booster or his booster crafting. We'll show you the full build for him in a second because I did end up giving him agility to give a plus one to that. And this is his goals to games ratio. His player skills as well. I'll have the full skills at the end of the video there in a couple of minutes. But he's played 16 matches and scored 13 goals. Now, I think this is even more impressive because I struggled massively in yesterday's stream. It was one of my worst sessions ever. But we still were banging in goals with Eto'o. It was a defensive issue with me more so than anything else. I just think the game has gone too handholdy again. The AI is doing way too much since the last patch. And out wide has been nerfed into oblivion. And we'll, we'll do a video on that, lads, because I am a little pissed off, right? But Samuel Eto'o here. We're going to have Striker's Instinct. We're going to give him Agility plus one for his booster crafting. There are the skills to add. Gamesmanship, Flip Flap, Aerial Superiority, One Touch Pass and Long Range Curler. You don't have to give him Aerial Superiority, but you will see a couple of clips here where he's scoring headers and stuff at the end as well. And with the ability and the agility that he has here, the agility maxing out his ability, such as speed and acceleration, his stamina, his balance... The key to this build, lads, is the 85 balance, 85 type possession at the cost of limiting his finishing a little bit. Just trust me on this build. It's absolutely insane. Just trust me. And that attacking awareness or offensive awareness as high as it possibly can go. So again, we did a quick comparison as well. A lot of people asking me, I have Mbappe Showtime. I have Rummy. We're going to compare the both of them here, right? And we have Rummy and Kylian Mbappe that are going to be compared. Now, you will see that Mbappe is super, super, super similar and compares unbelievably so to Samuel Eto'o. So much so that if you have this Mbappe, such as I have, I genuinely don't think that you can play both of them because they're both goal poachers and they both do pretty much the exact same thing. They've both got unwavering form. They've both got very similar play styles, player IDs. They're both built around speed, power, even though they're not physically that strong. They are built around very direct running, which is where the game is at at the moment. A lot of one-twos, a lot of bamboozling defenses because the defense is so locked in that if you get one-twos going and you play tiki-taka, it can be extremely effective. Now, the other player that people have asked me about is Rummy. There is a new Rummy due to come out, okay? And it's 103 overall versus 103 overall. And again, Rummy is more kind of like balanced. He's more kind of like a little bit lower to the ground and a little bit stronger. But I still think that Samuel Eto'o can like mix it with the best goal poachers at the moment. And you'll see a couple of clips as well here, such as this one. It's not just about direct running. Like that's a lovely finesse dribble into collar. Beautiful assist from Eto'o. Bang in the back of the net from collar. And again, this guy that I'm playing, my opponent here is probably thinking, right, he's going to try and blitz me with a toe with pure pace. No, little deft touch with the finesse dribble drag back and then a little pass. Simple pass, simple goal. Again, we've got a very varied goal here. We spread it out wild to your Royal Highness. He's going to swing it into our door. Goulart, little flick with R3 and then a nice little header at the back from Samuel Eto'o. Again, a lot of variety in goals. Obviously, it's going to come down to this little touch and go. This has reared its head again. If you play this style, you're going to really enjoy the gameplay at the moment. But out wide, possession has been really nerfed. 
and I will do a video on that as well. Let me know your thoughts. And of course, you can always score the wonder goals with him as well. So Samuel Eto'o, let's just to round it up. I, de I definitely do think that he is up there with the meta now. His stats, balance and tight possession. If they were to go to 90, it would almost be the Tannis card. Like it would be unbelievable, no weakness. And I think there's only probably about two of those cards at the moment in the game that have the perfect hybrid of stats, player ID, skills, motion, movement and finishing. But I am going to give Samuel Eto'o a whopping 9 out of 10. It's a huge, huge rating for him. Now, as I said, I haven't tried Mbappe enough. So Mbappe is probably a 9 out of 10 as well. I know some people swear by him. I just haven't tried him, but I did click with Eto'o straight away. So that is the rating. As I said, boys, that is it for me. We'll be back soon. And uh, yeah, hope you guys subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.